When 2020 started, never did I imagine that I'd be standing on a ladder in the Adelaide CBD addressing a 150 strong crowd of business owners at breaking point. In all the twists and turns of 2020, for me, this was our defining moment. From the summer bushfires to the wrath of COVID-19. Business SA, the state's independent and local chamber of commerce, has stood by businesses through it all. I'm so proud to have led my team in supporting businesses navigate the challenges of 2020 by providing advice through our business advice hotline, training future leaders in Say Yes, Encore or any of our other programs, welcoming over 880 new members, hosting events online and in person, and finally advocating for what the business community has needed most during these tough times. With this in mind, my team has challenged me to share with you our year, but I'm under strict instructions to keep it under three minutes, so stay tuned. We started off the year with catastrophic bushfires. We immediately called businesses affected directly or indirectly, regardless of whether they are members, to offer our help, support and advice. We were also overwhelmed by the broader business community that offered to provide free goods and services through our donation page. In February, we were delighted to host Anna Bly, CEO of the Australian Bankers Association, who spoke to 150 small business owners about how the new regulations would remove red tape when seeking to raise capital. We also reviewed our Say Yes and Encore programs to increase their relevance and their value and have since welcomed 40 future business leaders into our two courses. In March, I joined the Premier's Industry Response and Recovery Council. Advocating on behalf of the business community right from the start of COVID-19 pandemic, we have helped secure the very first stimulus package from the state government containing significant payroll and land tax relief and a waiver of liquor licence fees. The introduction of restrictions saw the cancellation of our events program for the next six months. But like many businesses, we pivoted quickly introducing webinars with our first three broadcasts where we broke down COVID-19 and how businesses might navigate through this pandemic, reaching an audience of 4,500 businesses. Our marketing team developed a free online resource guide while our business advisory services became free of charge for all business owners. This has since been viewed by more than 14,000 unique visitors to our website. At the end of March, we launched our special COVID-19 membership offer to assist even more businesses while also supporting our members facing hardship. In April, after many years of lobbying for an inquiry into SA water prices, Business SA's advocacy helped drive an 18% drop in water prices and a 10% drop in sewage prices from 1st of July, saving $1,350 a year for most businesses. Mid-April, we pivoted our SafeWork approved health and safety representative training, which traditionally has always been delivered face to face. 18 sessions were delivered during the initial COVID lockdown period with 101 participants taking up the opportunity to upskill themselves whilst at home. In May, we held a virtual summit with 50 industry bodies to discuss COVID-19. Through this collaboration, Business SA developed a 13 point plan for economic recovery. We partnered with Business Victor Harbour and the City of Victor Harbour Council to support their local businesses. We brought back our member networking events in a virtual format. In June, we launched a widespread campaign to open SA's borders to COVID safe jurisdictions. We also led the charge in advocating for the scrapping of the one person per four square metre rule, which was successful. In July, we hosted our first COVID safe event with 200 members at the National Wine Centre. We also partnered with the City of Adelaide on a business support package for CBD businesses. In August, more than 1,500 business owners tuned in to watch our exclusive webinar with Chief Public Health Officer, Professor Nicholas Spurrier. In September, we launched a re-energised membership offering for the first time in Business SA's 181-year history. We released our nine-point plan to skyrocket SA. We successfully advocated for an extension to commercial leasing protections. We held South Australia's biggest mentally healthy business breakfast across 10 locations, reaching an audience of over 8,000 people. 139 businesses also took part in our Mind Your Health Challenge. In October, 20 entrepreneurs graduated from our Say Yes program while a new group kicked off. In November, the state budget was finally handed down. We analysed and broke this down to help businesses understand what it meant for them. And our calls for further support for heavily impacted businesses were answered 
with new payroll tax relief and a new round of emergency cash grants. Little did we know that COVID-19 was once again lurking in our community. The threat realised with the announcement of the Parafield Gardens cluster, shortly followed by a six-day circuit breaker, would see every non-essential business close in the harshest and shortest lockdown Australia has seen. Luckily, this was short-lived, but the impact on business was not forgotten. During the lockdown, we responded to over 600 calls for assistance in three days from both members and non-members and publicly called for businesses to be supported and compensated. We joined the call to ease restrictions on hospitality businesses in December, once the outbreak was contained, which was granted by the state government 10 days earlier than planned. Now, all these things don't happen on their own. There is so much work behind the scenes. You may not know that our website was visited more than 400,000 times, or we sent 1.6 million emails, and despite ongoing restrictions, still held 74 events for more than 10,000 people. Our business advice hotline has taken 12,800 calls this year. We've held 276 meetings with government, published 4,489 media pieces, and reached over 52 million people through the media. Although 2020 was far from perfect, we have worked hard for South Australia and we have worked hard for your business. And we will continue to have your back, whatever happens in 2021. Well, what a year it's been, 2020. None of us could have predicted what a challenging year it's been for business, for personal lives, and for everybody right across the world. Our thoughts are all with you at this time of year, and I hope you have a break. We are so looking forward to getting back in 2021 on behalf of the Board of Business SA, the executive team, and our broader team. Wishing you all the best. We can't wait to help and support you and make 2021 one of our best in a long time.